Now we want to move beyond simple synchronization and think about how we could share drawings between different users at different locations so that we can start solving problems that have to do with proximity to servers or when different people are in two physically different locations. So rather than simply emailing drawings back and forth, we're going to use Autodesk 360 to keep everything current so everybody's working on the right file. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have to learn how to use the web client to share drawings by uploading them and then sending email invitation links to the remote worker. This way, everybody can actually share and collaborate on the same drawing files that are stored in 360. To access your Autodesk 360 account, simply click the Autodesk 360 link here under your login credential. To start sharing drawings with your Autodesk 360 account, first make sure you're logged in and that you've gone to the Documents tab. Next, create a folder and navigate into it because this folder will be what contains the uploaded files. Now we'll use the upload link here and select our documents for actual uploading. Now we simply select the files that we wish to upload and say Open. This will build us a list which can either be deleted from using these, or you could add more documents using, again, the Select Documents button. At some point, when you arrive at the final list of the files that you'd like to upload, we'll use the Upload Now button and wait for the uploading to actually occur. As uploading takes place, you'll notice a status bar here, and if you prefer, you could click this View link and see in more detail what's being uploaded and what the status of every file is. Once the uploading is complete, we'll be sent back into our folder where we can share the files appropriately. After the upload completes, the question becomes, how would you like to share these files or would you prefer to share the entire project folder? Either way, we'll simply click to select the scope of the share and then right click to expose a menu where share is an option. After selecting share, You'll be informed that this project folder is not being shared, but you may now enter in the email addresses of the people you'd like to collaborate with you. So it could be something like this, which would then add this person and then define exactly what their access level is going to be, whether they can only download, download or update or have full access to the file. Additionally, you could add more collaborators within the share operation by pasting in a distribution list. So we've seen here, so you could take this from a, a header of an email that you had received, and this would allow you to add in several people at one time. At this point, you will simply save and invites will be sent to all the appropriate people on your share folder list. You will now be able to open the drawings in their 360 account via the link in their email. So as you can see, the capability of uploading and sharing files through Autodesk 360 allows us to consolidate users no matter where they may be in this topology, so long as they all have access to email and an Autodesk 360 account.